Hey everyone, I'm Aaron. That's my uh, identical twin brother, Adam. Today we're playing a little pitcher catcher. We're talking catcher's interference of the baseball brew. Ha ha. Thanks for joining us today. We're having a cup of coffee and we're in the middle of a daily baseball trivia fracas. We're going to get after a little bit and we're going to talk uh, some baseball uh, again today. Adam, you got a question on deck for us. What do you got? We've got some obscure baseball trivia for you here. Uh, catcher's interference, or CI, if you see that here, has occurred twice in the same inning, just four times. These instances led to how many total runs? And this one is inspired by a recent game in which the Red Sox, aided by two catcher's interference in the same inning, uh, scored two runs, rallied past the Angels, won the game. So we're taking a peek at um, how many runs were scored sort of as a result of catcher's interference. And the way this looked was after the catcher's interference happened, how many runs scored in the first catcher's interference happened, um, how many runs scored in that inning? Two, four, six, eight, or ten? Who do we appreciate? <laughs> um, um, is this in total of all the, those four games? Yes. Okay. All four so games. yeah, I went, um, I just went boom in the middle of the road. I said six for no particular reason other than that seemed like a good number. Let's go six. And I went four on this one thinking that it's one, one base, you yeah. know, sure. Maybe someone's coming around, but not, not a lot of people are coming around here. So. It's like an uh, error to extend the inning kind of deal. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but let's take a peek here. Um, go into the notes. Um, we are both wrong. <laughs> Shocking. S surprise. <laughs> this, uh, these catchers' interference instances led to eight runs. Okay. Well, so, two, two of them in that game, right? In the, the Angels Red Sox. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, six or more. Yeah, so you keep the any inning alive, anything can happen, including scoring a bunch of runs. Yeah, um, yeah, and and so this is um, quite the obscure little uh, thing that happens here. It does not happen very often. Mm -hmm. um, One thousand six hundred eighty-four times in history. That may sound like a lot, but we're talking about individual plate appearances. So 1,684 plate appearances is equivalent to 22 games. <laughs> okay. That, that's surprising. I mean, that makes sense, but yeah. 22 games worth of plate appearances for, for to put that in context, mm -hmm. Major League Baseball history has played about 236,000 games. Wow. All yeah. right. So uh, this has actually happened multiple times in 33 games. Um, and the Angels Boston game mm -hmm. was a record setting game in this regard. In the <laughs> catcher's interference happened three times in the game in total, wow, which had never happened before. Um, and right. we're gonna get to this a little bit later in our next segment, but this happened to the same player twice in a game, 12 times, mm -hmm. including. Yeah. Pat Corrales, who did it twice in a month in 1965. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, as I was looking at this, I was kind of thinking about, um, sort of the obscurity of like, are there catchers who kind of tend to have this problem a little bit more, more than others. <laughs> uh, and what I found was there's two catchers, uh, and these aren't necessarily the, the extremes by any means, but anecdotally what I found Gary Sanchez, um, Yankees came up with the Yankees, uh, twins, and um, I apologize for my baseball roster knowledge. I don't know if he's still playing with the twins right now. But um, in any event, um, prior to the 22, 2022 season, um, he had played in basically the equivalent of four seasons worth of games as a catcher and had 10, 10 of these in four seasons. Okay. That feels were, like a lot. It, yes, it was a lot. Um, uh, he was he was the active leader at that time, and he probably still is. So, so that's in 666 games. On the other side of that, um, Christian Vasquez in the same period of time had zero, 
in 573 games at catcher. So, you know, we're not quite at the same level of games, but it's clear uh, Christian Vasquez is clearly not on the same trajectory of pet catcher's interference as one Gary Sanchez. Yeah, well, and, and so on the batter side of this, mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking about noticing we got happened to the same player twice in one game 12 times. Is this sort of like a skill, or do players mm -hmm. kind of go out and try to do this? And I feel mm -hmm. like kind of yes. So <laughs> yeah. this happened 1,684 times, but to only 773 batters. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, 23 batters have had it happen at least 10 times. Mm -hmm. Pete Rose, 29 times. Mm -hmm. And the most ever, Jacoby Ellsbury, 31 times. Yeah, and it, so the thing that's really funny about that, too, is uh, Jacoby Ellsbury, 31, Pete Rose, 29. So it's like, hey, that's close. Pete Rose has 10 thousand more plate appearances than <laughs> Jacoby Ellsbury does. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, um, but it was interesting. Um, Jacoby Ellsbury is not the, not the batter who have, has it happened more frequently. Um, he's won in every 173 plate appearances. Tommy LaStella, now with the Seattle oh. Mariners, yeah. won, won in every 109 plate appearances. So if he if he's if he's playing a full season, it's about seven hundred plate appearances. He's getting about seven of these a year. That's that's a lot. And yeah. and he I mean he was one who got um, two in a game once upon a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. So when you think about this, so as I was thinking about you know how does catcher's interference get scored? Mm -hmm. It's it's an odd one. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, it's, it's magical. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to about eight websites trying to figure out how do you score catcher's interference because it it counts as a plate appearance but not in a bat, similar to mm -hmm. a walk. Yeah. The catcher is given an error, but it's not counted as reaching on an error because typically when you reach on an yeah. error, it counts the same as an out and an at-bat yeah. over yeah. one, mm -hmm. right? So it's similar to a hit by pitch, <laughs> but an eight and a hit by pitch helps your on base percentage, yeah. but catcher's interference is not factored into <laughs> on base. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So. change um for the uh, the new rules we got to add to the new rules um that are coming in 2024 for how do we score the catcher's interference yeah it's a, it's a it's, a, it's kind of like they they it just fell in between the cracks and they're just like you put it like as it was like a magic trick that put them on first base it's so ridiculous <laughs> so um so this this was interesting as i was looking at how, how it gets scored in this whole thing is that um so if you compare it to like a hit by pitch if you like lean into a hip to a ball coming at you the umpire will disallow that hit by pitch yeah so, right so um you have to sort of make some kind of effort to to get out of the way with with um, with this particular one, intent doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if you like tried to hit the catcher's mitt or not. Um, if you hit the catcher's mitt, it's catcher's interference, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, you know, one sense it's a little hard to, to determine intent unless it's egregious, um, yeah. which doesn't happen. Um, but it's also one of those things. Um, I think we're going to talk about this a little bit too. Is like as a batter like trying to hit the catcher's glove um, is not helpful for to actually trying to hit the ball. So, yeah. um, so that's, a, that's a wonky thing. So um, anyway, that, that whole intent thing was just, that was an interesting little tidbit here. 
Yeah. So thanks for hanging with us for the, the madness of trying to score catcher's interference. I've never been to a game. Oftentimes when I go to games, um, I'll score. I've never had to score catcher's interference. But if I do, now I know how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, now we're, we're heading right into story time here. We got to bring our story time funk music with us. We can't have story time without funk. Yeah. Let's go story time. You're you were a catcher. Yep. Did you get some catcher's interference? See, I was I was thinking about this. Um, I feel like I probably did at some point um, along the way, but I had a little bit uh, different way that I caught. In that, usually, uh, usually the way you teach catchers is basically to get as close as you can without getting hit by the bat. And I didn't like that philosophy because <laughs> I didn't want to get hit by the bat. And so I actually sat back um, a meaningful amount further. I mean, not we're not talking like, you know, out of the out of the circle or something, but I was probably a good foot, uh, maybe foot and a half further back from the plate than most catchers. And so I avoided most of this. Um, catcher's interference hoo-ha just by the fact that um just by the fact that i i sat back uh further from the batter uh specifically for this purpose not so much for the catcher's interference part of it is because i didn't want to get hit by the bat i didn't want to get my hand <laughs> yeah. hit by the bat and so i i just i moved back yeah and i never was a catcher well i caught one inning in little league that was plenty for me um <laughs> but as a batter um i never really tried it crossed my mind i got yeah i sure i got i reached base once i don't remember when i was a little bit older but i reached base once on catcher's interference and i thought huh, that that was easy wonder what it would be like if i tried but like you said like you can't hit the ball and try and hit the catcher's glove no. at the same time <clears throat> not and effectively so, yeah so it's certainly something that it just happens on a rare occasion um and you just kind of like oh all right well i guess i'm on first base now yeah and, and then you move on and that's about that yeah exactly so what are you gonna do with that i mean what you do with that is you wrap it up and you say special thanks to stathead and to the la times bringing us this this uh these delicious bits here of catcher's interference Something you don't see all the time, and if you're not a catcher, you don't, you know, what do you do? You know, well, this has been fun. Everybody, thanks for joining us. If you had a burning question, put it in the comments below or find us on Twitter and tweet at us there. Subscribe, like, join us. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. See ya.